Hello, I'm Atubo George. Now, yesterday we started talking about growing in the knowledge of God. Praise God. And, and I read a scripture to you. Like I said yesterday, your growth in Christ is not measured by the title you carry. It's not even measured by the congregation you, you, you may pastor. You can be a pastor and still be a babe. Oh, yeah. And, and, and it's terrible when your pastor is a babe. See? Now, I'll show you something in, in Hebrews chapter 5 from verse 13. It says, For everyone that useth milk is unskillful. I, I want you to understand that. He is unskillful. He doesn't have skill. In words, he is unskillful in the word of righteousness. Not us. He, oh, you know, he, he has a big problem. He doesn't know to differentiate between good and evil. That's a babe. See? So he doesn't try to analyze anything. He just takes it as it was given to him. You know, we've heard people say, you're, sometimes you're sharing something with someone and he says, ah, ah I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand what you're saying no, because uh, my pastor haven't taught me this one. And, and, and he, he, may even, he may even be a pastor. And he says, ah, our senior pastor have not thought about this one yet. And, and so what are you going to do? Well, no, 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 don't, don't even go there. That's a babe. See, because he, he just waits for the food to be present, pro processed, made, and then spoon-fed. You know, he is waiting to be spoon-fed. So, okay, this is the meal. Oh, thank you. And then he eats it. He is not analyzing what, what's the protein ingredient content in that food, what's the carbohydrate content in that food. He's not analyzing that. It's not his, none of his business. It has been made ready, and he believes whoever made this food is good food. So, he, he eats it. That's how they receive the word of God. So when you find people saying, oh, you know, they, they don't even analyze what they are told in church. Whether in church, whether someone else, you know, even as I'm talking to you right now, you see, you are not just supposed to, if you're just sitting there and say, oh, oh, pastor, oh, word, you know, word, word. Never analyzing anything I'm saying. You're a babe. Even if you're agreeing with everything I'm saying, you're a babe. See? Because you are waiting, you know. You know, sometimes people, it, it, you're talking to someone, you know, you're trying to cancel the person. And the person just saying, um, Pastor, you know all these things you're saying. It's, it's not like, I believe them, oh, I believe them. But just pray that, uh, just pray that God would, would, would do it, you know. He, that's a babe you're talking to. And, and lots of people love to be in that environment. They, they love to stay there. Don't, don't, don't tell me the whole process. Just pray, you know. I believe if you pray, God will answer. What about you? See? And sometimes pastors enjoy those things. You shouldn't enjoy such a thing. Because, see, you are keeping God's children as babes. And that's never the intention of God. God wants them to grow in Him. Like I said yesterday, how do you know you are growing? You know you are growing when you know you are growing in the knowledge of God. Now, one sign that you're growing in the knowledge of God is this. You will begin to analyze everything before you receive it. Not analyzing it doubtfully, but analyzing to understand. You just realize that your understanding is quicker. Now, look at what he said in the next verse. Now, I've told you who a babe is. A babe is the one who's waiting to be spoon-fed. He's waiting for you to pray for him. He's waiting for you to declare what so he'll say amen. He's waiting for you to uh, do all the study and tell him this is what it is. If my pastor said that is what it is, then that is what it is. That's a babe. Then look at the next verse, verse 14. It says, But strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Now you see it now. The matured ones, they are the ones strong meat is given to. Now, why, why do you say the matured? You say who by reason of use, not as by experience, by putting the word to work. See? Now, by, that's by reason of use. They, they, they are not just there waiting to be spoon-fed. They are there, you know, sometimes you say something. You know, that, that, that happens to me a lot. Now, I may be listening to a preacher and he just says something. And when he says it, I take note of it. And I go back to the Lord and say, Lord, if, if that preacher got it from you, then I need you to talk to me about it. And then I wait for the Lord. And he, 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 he begins to, sometimes it take, maybe immediate, sometimes it take a while. But then the Lord will actually visit and, and begin to tell you about that thing. And when he is done telling you, you're like, whoa, wow, praise God. You know, you, you just even feel even that preacher didn't know 10% of what he was talking about. 
That's how it works. Now, what's going on? Strong meat is being given to you. See? Why? Because you are exercising yourself in the doctrine of righteousness. You are exercising yourself in the knowledge of God. Like I was sharing with you last week, um, Wednesday, I think. You know, listen. When you grow in God's truth, many times you go back to the things you used to believe before. You find out, oh, something was wrong with that belief. And then you change it. That's a sign that you're growing. Why? Because you're, as you grow in the knowledge of God, you're, you're, you, you become of quick understanding. So anything that you, you receive, you analyze it quickly and say, uh, 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 no, this, God couldn't have said that. Or this is what God can say. Or no, I don't think God said that. Maybe someone said that in the Bible, but not God. This is not the mind of God. See, now that's how you grow. Now why is it important that you grow? The way you handle the affairs of your life will determine or, or will show that you are growing or that you're still a babe. See, now it says, who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. There are many things in life that is not in black and white. This is right, this is wrong. They are just not in black and white. But you see, as you grow in the knowledge of God, you will be able to discern. See, because growing in, in God means growing in His Word. And what did the Bible say about the, the Word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. It, it divides asunder even to the bone and marrow. See? Now, so when you're growing in the Word of God, that's the same way you are sharp. You can discern both good and evil. No matter how complex it is, you can see this is right, this is wrong. You can split it. Now, that's what God wants for you. See? Because we have a devil out there who's there to tempt you. And if you don't know how to discern with the word of God, if you've not begun to practice analyzing things, oh, the devil is going to get you. And that's not what God wants for you. Praise God. I've got to stop here. But we'll continue tomorrow. Praise God. Bye-bye.